Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this WordPress video, I'd like to show you how on the checkout page of WooCommerce, we can add in additional fields that only show up if it matches a particular product category or product ID. So this is going to be done using a plugin called WooCommerce Easy Checkout Field Editor. It's pretty similar to the uh, the checkout editor that's offered on the official WooCommerce site, but the problem is that the official one doesn't have an option for filtering by category, um, which is the whole point of this video. So um, basically, we're going to have two products here in this demo. So show product, and this product is going to have additional fields in checkout because it belongs to the category show product. It apparently also is in hide product. I'll have to change that. And then the hide product is not going to have additional fields in checkout. So by doing this, you can collect certain types of information depending on the product you're selling on your site. So let's go to the back end interface here. And uh, the, the section you would access this is WooCommerce checkout fields. Uh, before that, let me go ahead and do a real quick update on that product. And then for additional fields, which is where we're going to want to put anything that's not a billing or a shipping field, I'll click over on that tab. And while that's loading, let's go ahead and quickly edit this to make it a show product only. Okay, there we go. So anyway, back on the additional fields tab. Uh, clearly, we hit add additional field, which is going to pop this little uh, extra field up. Now, these fields, as you can see by hovering over on the left, are sortable. And uh, if they are displaying on a page, they will display from top to bottom. So if I go ahead and hit edit here, we can set the field type. There's a lot you can collect. Uh, date pickers, if you want to limit it to only dates. Emails, if you want it to have, uh, require it to have like the app gmail.com or something like that. Telephone numbers, blah, blah, blah. You get the idea. It's pretty standard. So. We'll set this to text by default and label. We can change that. That's the text that's going to display before the box. So maybe we want to put something like team name. You're setting up a sports website and people have to sign up for uh, a team. Uh, that was actually pretty much what I needed to use this for for my client. So uh, down here at the bottom, you have visibility. We want to switch that from always visible to either product specific, category specific, or field specific. To product specific, that's going to be the ID number of a very specific product. That's one product in your catalog. But generally, I think you're going to want more like category specific because uh, products that are grouped together in categories tend to have the same kind of requirements or input for those fields. So we'll do that. Then we can click here and choose the category. So obviously the one we want to show this on is show product. Um, and if you also want these fields to appear in your orders uh, on the emails, your invoices, and on each user's account page, you can check all of these um, or whichever ones of those you want. Uh, now you can obviously add some extra stuff in. Um, options, which would be for if you have checkboxes, uh, giving the field a class if you're styling with any CSS or something like that. Uh, required is probably something you're going to want to really consider. Is it required for the user to input this field in order to check out? Note that the more fields you require, probably the less likely someone is to actually go through and finish the sign up process if it gets uh, too ridiculous. Um, so let's just go ahead and save that field and we'll add a couple more here. So add another field and we can edit that. One more thing I forgot to mention, uh, you have class here as an option. You can either have a field take up the full width, uh, meaning the entire additional info section in width, or you could have it be split into halves if you want to take less page space up, that might be a good idea. So first half could be an email, and say email uh, address of client, something like that. Um, so the, you might need to collect a secondary email if it says different email than the one you put in billing, for instance. But we're just kind of making stuff up as we go. So once again, category specific, show product, and I'll just check all of these boxes. Then we'll do one more field here. And then I will demo how it works. So let's do 
checkbox and we'll add a couple items here so for instance simple yes no two options so is this awesome question mark and we're going to require that we'll put it at second half so this email address of client will be on the first half and this checkbox will appear on the second half before it jumps to a new line check all the boxes here and we'll hit enter here so uh, two more things I do want to comment on real quick. Uh, as I mentioned, the fields do display from top to bottom. Um, and obviously, if it's not matching a particular category, then that field won't display on the page. But for all the fields that do end up displaying, it's going to be top to bottom. And one more thing, one more feature I, I would like to see if uh, the guy, uh, let's see, Wu Matrix, that's the author. If he ever goes ahead and updates this plugin, I would hope that uh, in the future, maybe it, you could group these fields together. That would be nice. Uh, so that like, if you have player information or contact information, those would all be one section and you can display and hide them all at once. Um, but for what it does, it's not too bad. So we'll save this. And now I'll go ahead and uh, refresh this cart, though I don't think I have anything in it yet. We might need to add a product. Okay, yeah, so we do actually have the um, the show product already added here. So you can see the fields they got added here. They're all required, indicated by the red star. Um, depending on the theme you're running, it might be a little bit clumped up. Uh, this is, I think, WordPress 2015, but I did notice that 2017 was working pretty well with WooCommerce. Um, anyway, if you do have this issue, you might just want to put the fields on one line, but user has to fill out these fields, and uh, given those checkboxes, they'll get added to the voice, yada yada. And then down here, we can see the products that we're ordering, which is a show product. So I've also gone ahead now and added a hide product to the cart, which of course is in the hide category. So we're going to go ahead and proceed to check out here. And you can see, ah, well, we forgot to actually filter this particular field by category, but you can see how the other two are not showing. And we come down here and we have the hide product. So uh, just to show that one more time, let's go back to the admin interface. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so WooCommerce, check out fields. And uh, we can also show where I went wrong, which was just forgetting to filter that last field. So is this awesome? You can see it's set to always visible, and that's why it was there. But these other two, they only show for show products. So that's why those weren't showing on the hide product. So uh, all we would need to do to correct that is go back here, category specific, show product, save changes. And that's really the basics of how you use um, easy checkout fields. So that's WooCommerce easy checkout field editor. I'll leave a link to it in the comments if you think this would be a cool plugin to try out on your website. Uh, but hopefully this tutorial has shown you one option in order to get filtering by product category to work on your WooCommerce checkout in this WordPress tutorial. Man, that was a mouthful. In any case, I've been Chris. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my future video content.